In light of recent events, we wanted to take a moment before our next video to stand up and speak out. That we believe Black Lives Matter. Love is love. No human is illegal. We will not stand on the sidelines silently. We recognize that while we come from the LGBT community, there are some struggles that we will just never have to experience simply because of the color of our skin. We will watch, we will learn, we will listen. We believe that being part of the change is educating yourself, standing up, and speaking out. We have linked a video below to our friends who have put out an amazing spoken word video about this and also some additional links to organizations that we believe in. Please take a moment to watch, volunteer, and donate. Stand, Stand up and, and be the change. So today's all about our water tank. Yes. Uh, we're gonna run to the store and check out some water tanks since that is the next big project we have. All right, let's get going. fairly successful mission yeah uh, the store had some of the things we needed we expected it to be a little bit bigger I guess we kind of expected it to be like a camping world on steroids based on some of the other reviews that we saw but it wasn't it didn't yeah. have a lot of the things that we were looking for but we were able to get the water tank yeah and get the propane tank which we were not expecting to get today <music> building the other wheel well box for our water tank and since we're planning on putting the fridge back here as well on a slider that slides out into the kitchen we just want to make sure that there's going to be enough room for everything because this wheel well box is going to be a little bit wider than the battery wheel well box but it should give us enough room fairly cool.
All right, so we have our tank dry fit. Um, looks like it's gonna work pretty well. We wanted to go ahead and pre-install our valves for our different um, hoses that we have to run. We're not gonna be able to fully install those yet until we get the kitchen built or at least a better idea of exactly where stuff is gonna go. But basically we have our fill um, that we're eventually gonna be hooking up our fill line to, like so. Um, and then this is gonna be our vent tubing. So when the water is either being filled into the tank or coming out of the tank, uh, air can come in and out of the tank. And this is gonna hook right up to our water inlet for putting water in. And then um, here is where our pump is going to feed out of. And then this is gonna be just a drain valve. Um, we're not sure about this fitting it was kind of the best thing that they had at the store at the time for us that we felt was possibly going to work. So when we take the tank out and clean it out and stuff like that, we're going to find out if it's going to work or if we're going to need to go to maybe a different store or look online to try to find a better fitting. But for right now, this is what we have. It's just a on off. As you can see, it's a little loose, and even though it's supposed to be the correct size, it won't tighten anymore, so that's kind of where our concern is, is that it may leak. So, to be determined on that. So we built a box just sort of like we did for our battery bank, but we put an opening in the center so we could have some more storage. The last thing we wanted was to bring the box all the way out and have that wasted space. So we just put two pieces of plywood to create legs. Uh, so now we have this small opening here that we can put winter clothes in the summer and summer clothes in the winter, vice versa, or anything small that can fit in the space. Well, that does it for our water box install. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thank you for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you have any input for us, we'd love to hear it. Leave a comment down below. And until next time, bye. bye.